Hey guys, today you're going to be looking at um, some different forces that act on other objects. Um, the what will we do here, it says we'll analyze three objects. So we're going to be looking at an airplane. Um, you're going to be looking at a skydiver and then a runner. Um, I might insert some pictures in there so you can kind of see what they look like. Um, but you're going to kind of see what relationships they have between those objects moving and the forces that are acting on them. So um, what I want you to do is look closely at the airplane that says right here, picture, and question one. The forces for the other two questions are discussed in question one. So we have question one here. It says every airplane has at least four different forces acting on it. The thrust of the engines that push forward, and that's why it has thrust here. The drag, of the, which is friction, of the air that's pushed backwards. You could see that near the tail. It's weight that pulls down, so you have the gravity that's pulling down, and the lift of the wings that push upward. So then you have that force forcing the um, airplane to stay up in the air. Okay, so it says assume that the plane in the drawing is slowing down while flying horizontally. Remember, horizontally is left to right, like the horizon, like when the sun comes up. Okay, which of the four forces shown is greater than the other? So when the plane is slowing down, what forces are going to be greater than others, which are going to be equal to others, and explain your answer. So when we're slowing down, which one of these four forces is going to be greater, which ones might be equal, and you're going to explain your answer in this blue box. Okay. The second um, question says a skydiver is open to their parachute and is slowly falling to the ground at a constant speed. What are the two forces that are acting on the skydiver? Okay, uh, we're not gonna add them. Actually, I'm gonna delete that. So you don't have to add them to the photograph, um, but what is the relationship between those two forces and explain? All right, so don't worry about this part here that I'm highlighting. I'm gonna delete that before I even share this with you. Um, so skydiver. Go back to this. Think about these forces. You know, do they have engines that are thrusting them forward? Do they have friction because of the air that's pushing backward? Is their weight pulling them down? Um, and is there anything that's pulling them up? Do they have lift? So for the skydiver with the parachute, you're going to have two forces. So you're going to have two of these four. So think about that. And then question three, we're on the ground. A runner is speeding as he nears the finish line. Four different forces are acting on the runner. Two that are vertical, vertical and member up and down, and horizontal, left to right. What are these four forces? Also, what is the relationship between these forces? And explain. So again, you're going to kind of use what you see here um, and, you know, answer questions one, two, and three. Okay, if you have any questions, email or comment but this is um, your assignment for today.